Hello everyone. Our body is like a machine and organs are the parts, each with a particular function. But we also learned that there are many tiny animals without real organs. Those belonging to phylum Porifera, Cilentereta, that is Nideria and Nematoda. Does that mean tiny organisms like ants have no organs too? Let us see. Actually, tiny animals may have tiny organs like this ant has. All animals which have real organs are triploblastic which means their body has evolved from three layers of cells ectoderm, mesoderm and endoderm and generally they are bilaterally symmetrical. So let us know about animals which have organs starting from tiny to big animals. Let us start with tiny leech and earthworm. They are bilaterally symmetrical and triploblastic too. They have real body cavity hence true organs can be packaged inside the body structure. There is thus extensive organ differentiation. Now if you have ever noticed a leech or an earthworm you may find that their body is made of ring like segments. Correct? These segments line up one after the other from head to tail. Hence they belong to phylum Annelida. Annelids are everywhere in fresh water, marine water as well as on land. Have you ever seen a cockroach closely? It's bilaterally symmetrical which means the left half and the right half have the same design. They have jointed legs. You know the word orthropod means jointed legs. Hence they are called orthropods and belong to the phylum arthropoda. From very tiny butterfly housefly, spider, scorpion, to the big crab, lobster, prawn, arthropoda is probably the largest group of animals. They have organs but you must be surprised to know their blood doesn't flow in the well defined blood vessels. Instead their body cavity or silomic cavity is filled with blood. So they have open circulatory system exoskeleton that is a rigid external covering for the body is present and this is made of chitin. Have you ever seen an octopus or a squid? They are actually in the same group with the garden snail we see every day. How? First there is bilateral symmetry the coelomic cavity is reduced. They all have calcium cell protecting their soft flesh. Octopus has the shell beneath the skin while snail as we know has the shell outside. But it is just a shell not like a skeleton system which is made of bones. There is little segmentation and there is a foot that is used for moving around. So octopus, snail belong to phylum mollusca and they are called mollusks. You know about 23% of all marine organisms fall in this group. This means there are so many marine animals that have shells. They also have open circulatory system and kidney like organ is there for excretion. So we came from animals with no true coelom to accommodate well developed organs. 
to animals with true body cavity and organs so animals belonging to the phylums arthropoda mollusca and annelida are triploblastic and have coelom all these arthropods mollusks and annelids have coelom which is formed from the mesoderm layer as we follow evolution animals gained more and more advanced characteristics now in more advanced triploblastic animals coelom is formed from pouches pinched off from endoderm instead of mesoderm and hence they have more advanced or complex organs from fish to human beings animals with advanced organs like stomach heart lungs gills kidneys etc fall into these categories we shall learn about them in the next session until then bye bye